So I'm going to show you how easy it is to get rid of a straggly plant. Basically, you just have to find the stems where all the flowers have finished and pick that stem right back to the base of the plant. Find a node, which is one of the knobbly bits on the stems, and pick it right, right, right back. Don't be afraid to do this. You are not going to hurt the plant. It will do it good. These young shoots here are absolutely ideal for propagating. You want to pick off the cutting just uh, Easily it'll snap off in your fingers and remove any uh, little tips and plants so that you end up with no brown on the base of the cutting. That is an ideal cutting for you to root yourself. So now I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those cuttings we've taken. So here we are, I'm going to show you a very simple way of making some new plants from your old mother plant. It is so simple, we have the cuttings that we've already picked beforehand, that uh, we've prepared, ready to put in our compost. We have a small pot, which you must put seed compost in, don't use potting compost. We need a polythene bag, to, because we're going to make a little mini greenhouse and an elastic band to secure it with, some water. So we'll water the compost in and now it's time to insert the cuttings. It's so simple. You don't need to use a rooting hormone, but if it makes you feel more confident, then by all means do it. You have to allow between four to six weeks uh, for your plants to make little baby roots. We put the polypene bag over. This is our little blue feet moment now and we secure that pot, we secure the polypene bag with an elastic band and stand it in the saucer of water. Just make sure that the polypene bag doesn't touch the side of the cuttings because it can scorch them. Stand this saucer on your windowsill, in, on the west windowsill. We don't want direct sunshine to get on there. After four to six weeks, remove the polypene bag and just have a little gentle tug of your cutting and with a bit of luck you will find that it's given you some lovely fresh young roots and you've got a new plant to put out in the garden. So if like me you're going to go away for your summer holiday you need to prepare really for what can happen while you're away on holiday because we could have some very very strong hot weather. So the best way of protecting your plants is to give them a mulch. And not only does this conserve the moisture, but it also helps to prevent those pesky slugs from coming and stripping your plants to pieces. So buy yourself some mulch, from any proprietary bark mulch will do, but really make sure it's composted first. And apply this around the, the plants, okay? Nice thick layer, and this will keep all the nasty bugly boos away and keep, more importantly, the moisture in. So if, like me, you absolutely adore your gardening and you're wanting to go away for on holiday and you want to check out what the weather's going to be like, go to the Met Office website and you will find out everything you absolutely need to know to prepare for that period away. Enjoy your garden.